A fundamental principle in calculus, including in curve sketching, is that if the derivative of a function is positive, then it's increasing. And similarly, if the derivative is negative, then it's decreasing. But why is this true? Have you wondered how to prove this? Why is this true very rigorously? Intuitively, it makes sense because the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So if you think about the graph, it has to always be trending upwards because the derivative is positive. But how do we rigorously prove this? So here's a rigorous proof. We want to show that f of x is going to be less than f of y if x is less than y. That's what we want to prove. We use the mean value theorem, which tells us there is a c inside the interval x, y. Here f is differentiable, so there is a c inside the open interval x, y, such that f of y minus f of x is equal to f prime of c times y minus x. That is the mean value theorem that the average speed, which is f of y minus f of x by y minus x, the average velocity in the interval is equal to the instantaneous velocity at some point in the interval. But now we know that because c, f prime of c is always positive and y minus x is positive, x is less than y, that implies f of y is greater than f of x. Now I have a question for you. Drop a comment down below. Is the converse true? If f is increasing and it's differentiable, is it necessarily true that f prime is always greater than zero, and check out my video on the mean value theorem. I prove it rigorously, explain it intuitively, and tell you a number of other cool applications of it in calculus. You're not going to want to miss it. Click down below for that, and I hope you have an amazing day.